So recently I've been going in circles a bit. In my design process, I first pick out key functional components, then decide the basic form or shape, followed by the details and then some polishing. I'm stuck at the basic shape part. I kind of half-heartedly threw some random ideas together, but nothing was really sticking. It was around this point that I noticed some plasticine left on my desk from the custom handle project. Picking some up, I had a go at making what I was thinking of, and immediately felt a bit silly for not trying it sooner. I took a picture and put it into Fusion to trace around. It wasn't impressive, but it didn't need to be. All I wanted was the basic shape and proportions, and this had given me exactly that. This success led me down the path of, if it's worth doing, it's worth overdoing. I decided to make myself a nicer sculpting setup, mostly because I wanted to make a cool box more than any practical reason. The case here is the same one I designed for my Camera Lucida project some years back. It was about the right size, so I cleaned it up to use for this project and some others. One downside of glue is that you will need to clamp things in place. I had already identified one springy spot and had a toe clamp set up and ready. The top of the case is a similar story, aside from this extra piece to add a bit of colour. The front latch is made of two pieces. First, we make a hinge using a small length of filament, and then add the top half of the latch with two M2 bolts. The rear hinge is also pretty simple, and mounts with four more M2 bolts. With the case itself done, we can get to filling up. To begin, the work term table with its pattern of holes designed to take toothpicks for model support. Moving over to the laser cutter, I put in some 3mm birch plywood. I should probably replace this with something more durable in the future. I'm going to engrave this board as well, but I want to sand it first. So without moving the spoil board, I remove the piece, sand it, and then replace it in the cutter. I'm engraving it very lightly here because I don't actually want deep grooves on the surface. These top compartments are for different colours of plasticine, but at this point I only have white. And that's pretty much the build. I really like the colours on this one. The kit opens up and expands for ease of use, with everything having a place. I predict I'll probably get some comments on this video about how I should use AI. I've thought a lot about AI and concluded that it's not something I want in my life or work. AI feels like the latest in many new technologies that erode discipline. I feel I have a lot to lose in the long term by getting into the habit of letting a machine do my problem solving. So, while I may not be good at drawing or sculpting now, I look forward to maybe being better in the future. Thank you to my patrons, and to you, as always, for watching.